What's going on everybody? I'm Cody B and today we have a quick discussion video talking about crossplay in Borderlands 3. Now originally when I was writing the script I made it as why it should have crossplay but I looked it up and I found out that there actually are plans to add crossplay into Borderlands 3 for next year so now we're going to try to change the focus of this to being why it's a good thing that there is going to be crossplay. So with that said let's get right into it. Cross-platform play is the future honestly and is something I feel should be embraced by both gamers and developers. In the recent years there have been a bit of a move towards that direction with games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Fortnite, and Minecraft, among many others, having full crossplay between Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Borderlands 3 would be a perfect candidate for crossplay as well. I really see no reason why it wouldn't be. I mean, there's only really positives to this happening. Let's start with the most basic thing being more players to play with. Now, by no means is Borderlands 3 a dead game, but the player base is fairly small in comparison to the glory days of, say, Borderlands 2, but simply adding more players to the pool could easily recapture that magic. In my personal experience on Xbox, finding a match can take up to several minutes and having people join my lobby if I open it up to the public almost never happens. And that's a real shame because yes, Borderlands is very fun solo, but the game truly thrives when playing with friends or just randoms. So giving access to players on other consoles would only be a good thing for the player base. Also, in looking it up, I discovered that the player base on any platform is essentially divided up into 20 sections as you will only be matched with people who are on the same playthrough and the same mayhem level as you are. And that could very well be the reason that I'm not finding any matches is on Mayhem 6 and TVHM. Personally, I have no desire to play on Mayhem 10. I stop at 6 because that's when all the loot is obtainable, but I could be in a minority on that. And if there was crossplay, there would likely be more people who had the same mindset as me, so we could all find matches easier. See? More people the better. Also, I just gotta say this is a really dumb system. Why not give people an option to choose a lobby from a list of lobbies like they could back in Borderlands 2, or at the very least make it a bit wider of a range and you can get put into a mayhem level that's one above or one below your current one. I see no reason it needs to be divided up so much, but I digress. Another reason I feel crossplay will be really good is because Borderlands is a cooperative multiplayer game that is really all about playing with others, as I said earlier. But the important thing about this is that it's a PvE experience, meaning that essentially everyone is on the same playing field. I bring this up because there are competitive multiplayer games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, and Gears of War that allow crossplay with PC. See, in those games, it's a literal fact that people playing with a keyboard and mouse have an advantage over people who are playing with a controller. The aim is better on PC, there are better bit rates, there's all kinds of stuff that I won't really get into, but the point is that if competitive multiplayer games will allow crossplay, there is no reason that a cooperative multiplayer game doesn't have it. Because this discrepancy and advantage doesn't really matter as everyone is working towards the same goal. Now, there is the issue with PC players using save editors to get crazy loot and boost up other players, which does kind of completely defeat the purpose of the game to an extent, but if there was really an issue that the developers wanted to combat, they could put something into the game that would either prevent save editors from working or give out bans for people who use them. Now, admittedly, I know very little about game development, so I don't know if that would even be possible to add something that would stop them from working, but at the end of the day, who really cares if PC players gives out free loot? I mean, if I'm honest, most of the loot I got in Borderlands 2 was from people who either created the loot on PC and transferred it to Xbox 360, or knew someone who did and dropped all the stuff in random lobbies. Back in the day, it wasn't uncommon to join a game in Sanctuary and just have the ground covered in legendaries and other rare loot free for you to take. It was a bit cheeky, yeah, but it didn't make me not want to play the game anymore because I had all the best loot and I didn't need to work for it. If anything, it really made me want to play more and try out all the crazy stuff I just picked up. And the best part is, if you preferred to farm all your gear legit, you didn't need to pick anything up. So for me personally, I really don't see PC save editors being an issue for the player base. In the end, Borderlands 3 getting crossplay is such an amazing thing because as much as I feel Borderlands 3 could have been a much better product than it is, it's still a great game that I really enjoy and I want to see it do well and be able to play it for years to come and as it is now, I don't really see the game lasting as long as Borderlands 2 did. I feel that crossplay will maybe breathe new life into the game or at the very least unite the diehards like myself and many others to keep the game going for lots of time to come. But whether you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. But for now, that's all from me. I'll see you all in my next video real soon. Peace out.